I do things. Today I have a huge haul for you guys. It's probably going to be my last big haul for a while, and let me tell you why. For anyone who has seen my very first video I ever shot, my wish haul number one on a very ghetto camera, you know that I had surgery. So let me give you a little history about what's been going on. Back in July, I had surgery on my right knee. Essentially, I had my right kneecap realigned and the past three months I've been rehabbing and recovering from surgery. Meaning from my regular job I've been on short-term disability which is kind of the reason why I started this YouTube channel. During a lot of my recovery I would just spend all my days <laughs> laying down not able to move watching YouTube and I got inspired by a bunch of different YouTubers to kind of start my own channel. And that's how Things by the Burke came to be. I'm kind of thinking like Things by the Burke is like TV squared, but we can discuss that idea later. Anyway, so the reason this is probably my last big haul for a while is because Monday is when I'm going back to work. Yay. So, blah. So, I kind of have one last big shopping haul of a mixture of different stores for you guys and I don't know the next time I'm going to be able to do one of these big shopping hauls. I still plan to do my wish hauls. I'm going to do favorites at the end of the month. I have an idea for a video that I'll kind of talk about later on in this video. I'm going to do my Ipsy video this month. I did get another monthly box. It's not a subscription. Anyway, you'll see later in the month what it is. I don't want to give away any spoilers. I'm going to do a Halloween video at the end of this month. I'm going to do a DIY video later in the month. So stuff is still coming, but big shopping hauls might not be happening too much in the near future. Also, for anyone who saw my wish haul number nine, yes, I'm wearing my space pants with my NASA shirt. All right, story time is over. Let's get on to this haul. We have TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Sephora, and Target. Yep, I go, we're going out with a bang for the time being. First, we're gonna start with TJ Maxx. Now this is not one TJ Maxx haul. I don't even think these are all from the same TJ Maxx. I think it's from two different TJ Maxx's, but three shopping trips over the last like few weeks or so. Like this isn't just yesterday I went out and Spend all my money. All right, let's start with clothes I got at TJ Maxx. Okay, so this is the first shirt from TJ Maxx. I actually originally got it thinking it was something I could wear to work. However, the side detailing kind of is cut a little too high for me to wear to work. It's so soft and I guess it's just gonna be a weekend and nighttime shirt because I can't wear this to work. But it's by the brand Monto and I paid $14.99 for it. Next clothing item. Okay, I can't tell if the camera's picking up the colors, but this is like a purple and blue plaid three-quarter shirt. It has a cutout in the back. For anyone who follows me on Instagram, I did post a pic wearing this shirt last week. I wore it out bowling because that's obviously where you wear your plaid clothing. This is by the brand Dizzy Lizzy, and I paid $12.99 for it. And yeah, it's comfy. It's it's pretty much like a flannel -y blouse. Yeah. Next clothing item from the Max is this almost flannel jacket hoodie thingy majiggy. I don't know. It's this red flannel with this hood. It zips up like a jacket. I actually wore this the other night. I brought this as like a cover up when we went out to dinner, it came in handy, and it kept me warm. I'm doing such a bad job displaying this for you because it's like awkward. Sure, good. This is by the brand C Sono, and I paid $14.99 for it, and yeah. One more clothing item from TJ Maxx. Got this camely colored sweater. It almost has that like cashmere feeling, but it's not cashmere because it was $12.99, but it's so soft and cozy has a little tie in the front, and it's by the brand. Caution to the wind. My next items from TJ Maxx are more like homey items. So first, I got a set of towels that I just had to literally take out of my bathroom, but they say boo. And these are just hand towels that I've had in my bathroom, and yeah. 
My next item was this candle. I was so excited to find this. Kind of went looking for a fall candle that wasn't specifically called pumpkin spice. This one is called Falling Leaves. It's by Sensational Products. It's huge. You can see I've been using it. I've literally already burnt down this much of it. I don't know how to explain falling leaves. It just, it smells like fall. I don't even know how else to explain it. But I really like that it has like this leaf detail on the side. And when I light this, even after I blow it out, when I walk back into our apartment, I can still smell this candle from like the day before. It does such a good job at like making the house smell good even when it's not lit anymore. I really got lucky finding one this big. I haven't been able to find one this big since, so keep an eye out. And I didn't find this in like the, the home section there either. I did actually wind up finding this standing in line, waiting to check out. The last home item, hand soap. I needed hand soap for our bathroom and I wanted something folly. but I also didn't want pumpkin spice because I feel like pumpkin hands, it's a little much. This is just called Cranberry Hand Soap. I don't even, what is the brand? Does it have a brand? This is a no-name brand soap. It smells good. Ooh, it even has directions. Wet hands, dispense hand soap, and work into a rich lather. It smells. Last from TJ Maxx. Let's get into the beauty side of it. First item I like to get when I go to TJ Maxx are face wipes. They're so much more expensive to buy at like Target or the pharmacy. So I only paid $3.99 and there's 60 towelettes in here. This is Dead Sea Origins and it's infused with Dead Sea salts and minerals for normal to dry skin. 60 wipes for $3.99 is a pretty good deal because you can buy a tiny thing of Neutrogena <laughs> for that much. Next! is body spray. For anyone who's seen my five below favorites video, you would know that my current body spray was a Taylor Swift spray, which is very floral spring summer scent. I don't have anything else from fall and winter. So I found this white by Kenneth Cole and it kind of has like a musky manly scent, but it's like feminine. It's a manly feminine smell and it's so good. It's like exact what I like. I think this was $6.99. I don't really remember. Next is a facial cleanser. Now this is where I'm going to talk about in a video idea I have. This is a cucumber deep cleansing foam by the brand Cleansing Story. I really like this. I've been using it the last few nights and I like it a lot. This is a Korean skincare product. I'm obsessed with Korean skincare. I have been for about a year now. I have many products and I kind of want to make a full Korean skincare video where I kind of tell you what I have and what's worked and what hasn't worked for me. Let me know if that's something you guys would want to see because I'm all about the Korean skincare. This one was only $3.99. Typically Korean skincare stuff isn't too expensive for my experience, but sometimes it can be a little I guess not pricey, but like, not everything's $3.99. <laughs> On par with Korean skincare, I got two new Tony Moly masks. I have lots of Tony Moly masks. I have tons of different, I guess flavor isn't the right word, but I want to say flavor because they always have like a food on them. <laughs> but I did grab two of the pomegranate masks. These are $1.49 each. I really like the pomegranate ones. They smell really good and they feel really good. I haven't had a bad experience with any Tony Moly mask. I've pretty much liked any one I've ever tried, but I haven't tried them all yet. So, we'll see. Here is a lip product. This is a Bite Beauty Cashmere Lip Cream. They did have a lot of these when I went. However, a lot of the colors were just too weird for me. This one is called Sanseri. This is more of like a, a magenta. I don't even, let me, let me put it on the back of my hand. Maybe magenta is the wrong word. It's like a, a deep magenta. See, it's very pretty. I haven't actually worn it yet. It has a, it smells familiar. It 
smells familiar and I can't even identify what the smell is. All right, last product from TJ Maxx and this might seem familiar. This is already the third time it's in a video. Went to TJ Maxx and they had five shade and light palettes. So I have a problem. Called my mom again and this time I convinced her that she needed it and then I convinced myself that I needed a backup for when mine runs out of product. However, TJ Maxx, I see you. The last one I got was $19.99. These were $22.99. You've been watching people's YouTube videos and seeing how excited they're getting. Mm -hmm, I see you, girl. That's all for my <laughs> massive TJ Maxx haul. So let's get on to Marshalls. My first item is something I actually got from my Halloween party slash to decorate in the time being. This little sign says drink up witches. This is actually going to go in the drink area for my party. This cost $3.99 and super cute, so drink up witches. Next, I was looking for a coffee mug, specifically something not too weird, not too crazy, but something to hold my makeup brushes in. I found this one. It's got almost like gold splatters on it, it's like gray inside. It was $3.99. I liked that it was big and yeah, it's hard to mess up a coffee mug to put brushes in. The rest is just a few makeup things I found. Nothing too exciting, but just a couple things. First thing I found was called the NYX Love in Paris eyeshadow palette. It's got some nice colors for the fall. If you saw my most recent Wish haul, I was actually wearing these colors on my lids. It makes a very good dramatic fall eye look, which I wasn't going for today. I'm wearing the MAC eyeshadow that was in my last TJ Maxx haul, and I have mixed feelings on the MAC shadow because I feel like it's not panned like this, it's more like just lines, and I feel like it's harder to get a brush in it. So I do like this one. This palette cost $4.99, Next is a Bare Minerals product. I'm still trying to figure out if I like this or not. I think I do. I've been using it every day. This is a, what do they call it? Translucent Powder Duo. So the one side is just a, let's see if I can swatch them for you. They're just translucent powders. This one's a matte, this one's a illuminated one. It's very light, just like all Bare Minerals products. I've been looking for some sort of a setting powder. It's hard for me to tell if this one works well or not because I really don't have much to compare it to. I like it. It was $19.99, but I mean, you're paying for the Bare Minerals name. And you know what? At least I've been using it and I don't plan on getting any other translucent powder until this one's done. Last is probably my favorite makeup item I got at Marshalls. This is Bare Minerals Peach Passion. It's essentially just a lip balm, but it's like, here, I can do it right now. It's very nice to put over a matte lip. It just kind of adds a little moisture. And I paid $3.99 and it's bare minerals, so can't go wrong with that. That's it for Marshalls. Now let's go on to Sephora. The first item I got was pretty much the reason I went on. It's the Pore Professional Primer. It's actually the first and only <laughs> product I own I've ever gotten from Benefit. Um, I mean, it's pretty much the primer I see everyone use online. So I figure maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe this will help with my makeup problems. Definitely no makeup artist. Next item was long overdue, freaking beauty blender. I've been using a fake beauty blender for years. I think I got it two, three years ago from TJ Maxx, you're probably not supposed to use them that long, so gross. But I was like, girl, time to get yourself a beauty blender. I was like shocked at how squishy it is. Mine was not this squishy. Much easier to apply foundation with than the one that I've been using all these years. And yeah, everyone here I assume knows what a beauty blender is. And now I'm part of the real makeup community. Next is something I didn't really know anything about. Not that I don't know anything about, but I need concealer. And this is the Sephora brand Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I don't know. It seems to conceal. It's probably better than any concealer I've used. I know Tarte Shape Tape is where it's at with concealer, but I wasn't shopping at Ulta, and you can only get it at Ulta, so settled for this. And it was pretty cheap. 
it's been concealing me so far. Last item I got was the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now, if anyone here has seen my September Favorites video, you would know that I had an eyeliner in that video that I really like and I currently am wearing. I like this eyeliner. I think it, it's very, very easy to use. However, I think unless you're trying to do a dramatic cat eye, there's no need to use this. So yeah, when I am doing more of a wild, crazy makeup look, I'll be using this, but for just like everyday, like chilling out, Maxin, I'll be using my other eyeliner that I was talking about in my September favorites video. Last item I got is a free sample, so I guess I didn't buy this, but this is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I have watched Manny MUA and Jeffree Star's reviews on this, so I'm hesitant to try it. Has anyone used this yet? Let me know what you think. Uh, I also was supposed to get a couple other samples that they conveniently forgot, so I sent them an email and they added a hundred points to my account, which is probably better than the samples that I didn't really even want to begin with. But yeah, not sure if I'm going to use this yet. If I don't use it, I'm going to include it in my giveaway for when we hit a thousand subscribers, eventually. Alright, the last portion of this haul is a shopping trip to Target. Okay, so I needed jeans for work because we have like casual Fridays and currently none of the jeans I have are really like good enough, nice enough to wear to work. So jeans were buy one get one half off this weekend so I took advantage. First pair look like this. These are the mid-rise skinny jeans made with lycra extra light fiber. Helps provide great stretch and recovery. So there's these. And then I got these, which are a darker denim, and these are actually the mid-rise jegging. Very stretchy and comfy. All right, next two items are items that were re recommended by various beauty gurus, YouTubers, etc. whatever we wanna call them. First was the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in, this is called Cottage Cheese, but it's pretty much a white eye pencil. I used it today, goes on, me. See? Dang, son, that's pretty. So, like, this is something I had been looking for. It's funny, the last time I had gone to Target, I had put this in my basket and I'd just forgotten to take it out when I checked out. Next item I was recommended was a bronzer. I currently don't even own a bronzer. Well, now I do, but prior to that, I didn't even own a bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. If you ever feel like you miss vacation, pop this baby open and take a whiff, cause this, this smells like summer vacation. I like, that's actually what I heard online was that it smells so good, but it's quite addictive. And I did get this in the light bronzer color. I think it comes in two, dark and light. Obviously I got the light. Next two items are items that I got because they were like the final two things I needed for my top secret Halloween costume. And I haven't tested them or tried them out yet, but we can test them out and try them out right now. Well not test and try, but we can open them. So the first thing I needed was a tinted brow gel. This was a little bit harder to find than I expected at Target. Most brow products I found were either, you know, the pomades or, or like a pencil, and it was hard to find a gel. So this is by, S going to pronounce this wrong, Sonia Kashuk? I don't know what this brand is, but uh, let's open her up and see what it's like. Okay. Ooh, damn. It's pretty much just like a little spoolie with the gel on it. Let's try it out. Oh. Yeah, it feels good. I don't know, these are for Halloween though. And then the next item I needed was a brown mascara, which was so much harder to find than it should have been. Everything I found was either black or blackish brown. It was so hard to just find a brown mascara. I finally found one in the brand Pixie by Petra, and it's a large lash volumizing mascara in the color Best Brown. Ooh, here it is. 
not gonna put it on because I already have mascara on, but definitely has a brown color to it. Next item, something I found on sale. This was $2.78. This is one of the Insta Dry nail colors, and I'm wearing it right now, and it's chipping a little bit, so let's touch it up right now and see how fast it dries. And there you have it, nails are touched up. This is in the color Espresso. Don't mind the fact that I have baby-sized nails, but here they are. Last item of this entire video was something I saw as I was walking out of Target. Not walking out, walking towards the register. They had a display for Korean beauty, and I got excited. This is a Korean beauty routine set. I've been waiting to film this video before I open this. It comes with a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, and a shower item. So step one, melt your makeup. So this you use when you're ready to take off your makeup at the end of the night. Step two, put the toner on after your face is cleaned. Then step three, you put the moisturizer on after you've put the toner on. And step four is an extra step, which is something you would use in the shower. It's a mask that you put on in a thin layer while you're in the shower for 10 to 15 minutes. I don't know. I am excited to use this. Let's just, at Target, I don't, I don't know what the brand is. Oh, Glow Studio is the brand. And this is for dry skin, which I have. They had a bunch of different types of kits, but I happened, I picked the one for dry skin. I'm excited to try this. Would you guys like to see a video of me talking about the different Korean beauty products I have? I have many different kinds, I don't know. Stay tuned. All right guys, thanks for stopping by for my last big haul before I go back to work. Thanks for all the support you've given me over the past month or so. Uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter for updates. I'm gonna try to keep rolling out these videos as much as I can with my work schedule. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. Let me know what you liked about this video. Not sure where Mario is. He might be sleeping somewhere, so. We'll just assume this video is Mario approved, but it might not be because he's not going to like me going back to work. He's become used to a stay at home mom. But thanks again for all the support. I really appreciate everyone who's been watching these videos. I'm excited to keep doing them in the future. Like I said a million times, thank you, thank you, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>